We've got Pittsburgh on the right on the uneven bars with Carolina on the left on balance beam. For the Tar Heels, you've got Brianna Greenlow. Trinity Macy sticks the landing. There on the right side of your screen, we've got Lauren Beckwith for Pitt. She had an unfortunate fall last week as well. Always tough in that anchor spot, but I, again, they were able to still get a 49.075 as a team just because her score didn't end up needing to be counted. Nice side aerial to a full, a tucked full in that regard on the dismount. One of the more common dismounts that we're starting to see. Pitts Olivia Miller. Like you mentioned before, Fleur, a little bit more personalities get to come out. Uh, one thing the judges do judge on is artistry. So how well do they perform the movements, the dance to their music? Uh, is it fitting? Are they enjoying themselves out there? So it is it is fun to be able to watch and see just different, different personalities, different music choices. You want somebody consistent. You want somebody that can set the bar and then hopefully build upon that. That was kind of a fun, unique skill on balance beam, just a standing front. Way more difficult than she made it look. I think uh, the big question, however, has been answered, which is, you know, could they continue that momentum through three rotations? The answer has absolutely been yes. Yeah, exactly. That's what I was going to touch on was they've, you know, they've only had the one meet, but even taking a week off, it it's like everything is still the same. So again, I think that it helps that they were able to have a, a mock meet on their equipment last week.